Fun fact, I've tried to make this video a couple of times, but every time I've sat down to record it and read the script, I always come up with something new. So if you can, please like and share the video. It means a lot to me. With that, let's get to it. Labels. Labels are a form of judgment. Ever since I was small, I've been told over and over again you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, even though covers exist to be judged. Here's my point. People aren't books, and we don't have covers. Judging your fellow man based on what you see is a sad and pathetic way to go about your life. Now throw social media into the mix and suddenly that goal becomes a lot more difficult. The way social media is set up, we're expected to judge everything and everyone based on what we see and hear. Truth loses its value online because it complicates things. If you're looking for truth online, how are you really able to tell what's real and what's a facade? Anyone can lie. Every group can twist the truth. And at the end of the day, there's always an ulterior motive. When I see children online throwing temper tantrums because their favorite YouTuber got swept up in a controversy, or their most hated streamer got outed again, it always makes me laugh. Those same kids will never actually know the truth of what happened because they'll never know the people they're basing their entire persona around. That kind of lifestyle leads to depression, anxiety, and dependency on a fictional world full of fictional characters big and small. People begin to decide the worth of others based on which digital tribe they fall under, and it becomes really easy to dismiss the entire existence of others just because they like someone you don't, or because they have a different opinion on the latest Minions movie than you do. Labels become the currency of your attention, especially on TikTok. It's become a part of TikTok culture to check someone's profile description for whatever labels you subscribe to. The truth is, it's none of our business what someone else identifies as, or if they're taken or not. Those are personal details that have no bearing on our lives, because when you boil everything down, everyone else is just a person, just like you. And nothing anyone says or does will ever change that. Without going into detail, having worked in some of the most miserable places available, I've learned that at the end of the day, it's all of us against the rest of the world. Humanity versus the elements. It takes one bolt of lightning to send you back to your maker. One trip, one fall. One earthquake, one car accident. There are a host of things out there, out of your control, that could bring an end to your very short life. And the only thing you have going for you is your humanity. You and I are forever bound to the people around us. All of us understand one another on a basic level. Each of us understands what it means to be completely powerless, to be human. Labeling someone else, or worse yourself, distracts from that connection. It puts the ones you can always fall back on in a crisis in this weird bubble to be tucked away and forgotten. It separates us when, truthfully, we need one another now more than ever. And I get it. It's not as easy as flipping a switch. Sometimes it's fun to be angry, to be outraged, to join the mob, but it's far more rewarding to turn away from the fast-spreading anger and be a brother to someone in need. It's never easy, but it is always worth it. Ditch labeling, it's not for you. Be someone you can be proud of. My name's Prof. Sir, and Ditto says hi. Peace.